Dragon family, welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul. My muscles are sore. This weekend I went water skiing um, and I fell, but then I got back up. Also got a new graphic t-shirt. As always, when I get a new one, I like to share with you guys. This one is from um, Kohl's. I love the Lion King. I gotta stop. Let's get into the haul. So as always, I like to start off my Dollar Tree hauls with my favorite item that I found this week at Dollar Tree. I found the sequin mermaid pillows. Such a great deal for one dollar. These are great, honestly, though, to be fillers, like on a bed, on a chair, something like that, because they're not big. They're not going to be like your big old throw pillow that's going to take up most of the bed. It's no, it's going to be a little filler. I think there was six different type of color combinations. I ended up only purchasing four. So the first one that I got, which is my favorite, is the one that has the truer mermaid look to it. So it's blue and then under it, it is this purple color. So this reminds me more of a mermaid. Probably a little bit more green it'll need. And that'd be straight up mermaid. The sequins are nice too. It's not like really messed up where you push it one way and then everything just kind of gets stuck. It goes really nice and smooth. And then the back of it has a blue color. It's just more cushiony on the back. This one I think is probably the most adultish because of the color. It's this white one that um, under it has this gold sequence to it. Really, really pretty. And then the cushion part is white. This one is a lot like the bins that they have right now. It's pink on the top sequins and then under it, it is this silver color. Like I can't imagine those sleeping on this part of the pillow. I feel like it wouldn't be comfortable. And then the next one that I got is this blue one that is gold under it. Seriously though, sleeping on this, you're just going to stab your face. You're going to end up with a bunch of sequin marks. Girl, no, I'm going to sleep on this side. Like I said, there were some other ones. Like I remember one of them for sure was multicolored. Linus from Charlie Brown, the one that carries a blanket everywhere. I'm kind of like him in the sense that I carry a pillow everywhere with me. Like. Um, when I'm like working on the computer, if it's the desktop, I have a pillow beside me. My entire life I've been like this. Whenever I go out somewhere, um, traveling, I always make sure I bring my pillow. I think it's like a comfort thing for me. So yes, I do love my pillows, especially my one pillow. Not these. Like I like these, but I don't plan on like carrying these everywhere with me. I have my bigger pillow that I like. Okay, enough Bethany. What are you talking about, girl? Next item, again, super cute. So it's this flamingo tape dispenser. You guys, I don't know how well the tape works in this. Haven't tried it out. My guess is it's going to be like Dollar Tree tape, but you can always take that out and put a better quality tape if you want to. So yes, it's this Flamingo dispenser that is just adorable. Reminds me of something that you would get at Urban Outfitters. Like if you look near their stationary items, they do have items like this. So Dollar Tree this week got some eyelashes from LA Colors and it's nice eyelashes. It's not like the typical Dollar Tree eyelash where it has a band that is just a black strip. It's the eyelashes that I like that have an invisible strip. I'll show you some footage right now with what I mean between a invisible strip and this like black solid strip. I am a fan of the invisible strip because I feel like it blends in more smoothly in with your natural lashes. It's easier to cover up and it's easier to apply. So these are my favorite type of lashes. They had a bunch of different designs. So they had a bunch of different lashes with different designs. They have names on them. I got the Darling Lashes. Um, a pair of diva lashes. I got dainty lashes and demi lashes. So I will tell you guys this. If you're looking for an eyelash that is super natural, the demi lashes are really good. They're kind of like the Ardell 110 lashes, which are super popular if you're trying to go for a more natural look. It's out of all of the different designs that LA Colors has and the ones that I chose, my personal favorite are the darling lashes. They're like the demi lashes, kind of same type of shape in my opinion, except they're a bit longer and a little bit fuller, which is something that I like. They go better with my eye shape than the demi lashes. The demi lashes are a little too natural for me. When I wear like false lashes, I don't want them to look necessarily the most natural. Highly recommend these lashes over the other lashes Dollar Tree carries. It's much easier to apply this and I've said this before in my hauls. When you're applying false lashes, the key to applying them is you have to wait for the glue to become tacky. If you put the lashes um, directly into the glue and then you try to put that on your eye, it's not going to stick properly because the glue is still wet. You have to wait till it's tacky. It's like almost dried out and then you put it on your eye. Then it adheres immediately to your eye. Also you want to make sure you bend them a bit so they're a little bit more flexible. That will help and then if you're like getting a weird shape out of them, you want to cut off the end so that they fit your eye perfectly. So the other item that I got related to the lashes was some black eyelash glue. I've never used the LA 
Kelly Colors eyelash glue. I thought I would give it a try. They have it, it in white and black. White dries clear, except sometimes it leaves like a shine behind because it's glue. Um, so I decided to give this black one a try, see if it actually works. Dollar Tree got this new makeup brand in and it's called Aziza and I'll show you some of the footage right now. I ended up purchasing three of their items. I swear I've seen this brand possibly like um, when they sell big makeup kits during Christmas time at like Kmart and Walmart. I swear I've seen this brand before but I've never used them. So I did purchase three different items. The first item I purchased was the blush and I actually took it out already. I used it on my sister because we're trying to figure out her makeup for her wedding. So I used it on a trial and it looked really pretty. The lighter pink color. Then I got the only eyeshadow palette I saw. It's called New York and it is warm brown tones which is my favorite type of eyeshadow and it looks like it's matte. And my favorite type of finished in eyeshadow is matte because I feel like, I don't know, it just looks more polished to me than a bunch of shimmer. So I'm excited to give this a try. All of these say that they retail for $3.95 at the corner here. I can't say though that I've ever seen this inside of a store. I don't know. Maybe it's like at CVS because I know CVS has like a lot of random brands. But I, I've never seen it. And then the last thing that I got was the lengthening mascara. I'm always excited to try mascaras. Um, doesn't matter the brand. I just get excited to try it out. So we'll see how this one works. Another beauty related item that I got this week were some more Kiss Gel nail polishes. Whenever they get new colors in, I buy them. My favorite nail polish at Dollar Tree are the Kiss Gel nail polishes. I like them because they dry quickly. So the first color that I got is called Inside Out and it's a deep purple color. And then the second color that I got is called Baby Blush. I'm actually planning to use this one on my toes for the wedding that I keep talking about. I have a pretty big collection of these nail polishes. I really, really do like them. I got three mini notepads. Now I've seen these notepads before and I passed on them, but recently I've been going through my notebooks like crazy, just writing everything when it comes to my wedding, writing down vendors and costs and who I'm going to invite. I like to do like paper lots of times and on the computer because I feel like I can just take it anywhere I go and like I feel like I'm really focusing when I have to write it out myself. So I've been needing something smaller to throw inside of my bag. So the first one I got it says good vibes. The good vibes has a metallic finish to it and then the rest of it is like super matte. It almost looks satiny though but it's not. Then the next one I got I love this one. It's a mermaid and it says I believe in magic. And then the last one I got says find your balance and it has a flamingo. There's 120 sheets in each one and they do have lines inside of them. Near the notebooks I found this novelty glow pen. This is just adorable and this one is pretty detailed for how tiny it is um, it has the continents and the countries it doesn't necessarily like on America have um, the states or anything like that so the globe does have more than it just being like a generic continent like just saying oh, Asia and it's not detailed with the countries in Asia so I thought that was pretty cool anyways I purchased one of these honestly because look at it it is just awesome so this next item I'm pretty sure that the cashier at Dollar Tree thought I was crazy because it's a Halloween item so I'm sure she was like why is she buying Halloween stuff right now and why is she buying so much of it I bought every single very light I could find from the Halloween section that had white lights and I bought them for my wedding I want lots of fairy lights in my wedding and I'm gonna show you guys the centerpieces hopefully soon it's just taking a long time to get around to filming I told you guys since my sister's wedding's coming up it's been so busy and I do work outside of my YouTube channel so sometimes I have a hard time finding time to film but anyways I plan on having mason jars that have moss inside of them with fairy lights so I know I'm gonna have at least two mason jars on each table and I'm thinking we're gonna end up with 25 tables so I need lots of fairy lights so I went ahead and I purchased all the white ones I could find I looked for fairy lights online and I looked into buying them in bulk but they don't come out to a dollar per fairy light. You can go on the Wish app and you can find them for like 97 cents, 95 cents, but then you have to pay a dollar for shipping. So I'd much rather find them at Dollar Tree. So I purchased all of the white lights I could find. They also have them in orange and purple, but they wouldn't match my wedding at all. And the final item that I purchased at Dollar Tree this week was this two pack of quality pens anyways by zebra so i saw these pens and i was like man they look like they're fancy pens and i ended up googling it and found out that these pens retail for much more than a dollar and i'm a big fan of nice smooth writing pens so i decided why don't i give it a try if it retails for more than a dollar maybe that means it's a nice quality pen so i went ahead and purchased this and uh yeah that's it that's all i got so as always i like to end my dollar tree hauls with a question and last week i wanted to know which care bear you were based off of a quiz and a lot of you guys got wish a lot bear and then i think that was called wait wish bear 
and then care a lot bear that's the two i saw i also keep seeing good luck bear and grumpy bear i don't see too many cheer bears though so for this week's question, I'm going to link another quiz down below for you guys. And I want to know which Winnie the Pooh character you are. I just saw Christopher Robin. The movie was super cute. Like it drags in the parts where it's talking about Christopher Robin. But the parts where Winnie the Pooh and his friends are in, it is so adorable. Growing up, I loved Winnie the Pooh. I always used to get a Winnie the Pooh related like toy or plushie for Christmas every single year. Uh, my favorite characters are Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. And off the top of my head, from what I know from the characters, I feel like I'm like Eeyore. I'm not saying I'm super depressed, but I kind of have like a more, I've told you guys, it's like a pessimistic outlook on things. But I'm going to take this quiz and we'll see what I actually am. I always do BuzzFeed quizzes just because like the layout is super easy. So the first question is, what do you like to do in your spare time? Eat sweets, create stuff, watch TV. I'm not even going to read this stuff. It's create stuff. That's all I do. Choose one thing to bring with you on an island. A book, a bathing suit, a shirt, a water gun, a flashlight, sunglasses, water, my best friend, food. I would choose my best friend because I feel like if I'm going to die, I'd rather not die lonely. What does this cloud look like to you? A bear, a balloon, a raindrop, a kite, a plane, an umbrella, an apple, a cat, a carrot. It doesn't look like any of that to me. It just kind of looks like almost like a weird like alien thing. Uh, I guess I'm gonna say I think I'm gonna go with a balloon pick the worst sticky situation um, And it's just a bunch of pictures and I think I am going to choose Probably falling out of a tree Describe your best friend in one word smart adventurous trustworthy fun cute positive brave creative caring My best friend is the most caring person you will ever meet in your life who would be a great real-life Christopher Robin I don't really get this question. How is this going to determine which character you're like? I don't know. I'm just going to choose the one that looks like Christopher Robin to me. Robbie K looks like Christopher Robin to me, but I don't, I don't even know who half those people are. What part of the woods would you like to live in? A large oak tree, a little cottage, a cozy cave, the thicket, anywhere with flowers, a leafy bush, a grassy field, by a pretty brook up high in the trees. I think I would say a little cottage. I'm Christopher Robin! You're unique among your friends and have a wonderful imagination. People may see you as a child at times, but frankly, you're much wiser and more mature than most of your friends. Let me know which Winnie the Pooh character you are down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this week's Dollar Tree haul. Hopefully you can find these pillows. It's a great deal. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye! Oh, ow, ow. From what I can't decide, I won't be the king